let's go check them out. Uh, my name is Oliver Mosa Mabogo. I am the sales and the marketing manager here at Primal Spirits. Okay, right. So basically, Primal Spirits is uh, a micro distillery. Uh, we focus on uh, gin making and uh, also other products such as whiskey. And we are also meaning to engage into the business of rum making in the long run, as well as um, bottled cocktails. Yeah, but our main focus is gin. In the gin making, you need to first of all understand uh, the whole process firstly, and then you need to identify what you call a neutral spirit for you to be able to achieve these products. And for you to achieve also this neutral spirit, you need to first of all pick a base input for it. It can be either say uh, wheat, it can be barley, it can be sugar cane, it can be potatoes. Eventually this input is going to make you arrive at neutral, right? Then uh, the whole process starts from the meshing that is in the big boiler that is just next to me here. So we cook that uh, wheat flour, which is the base for our neutral here at um, a primal spirits, right? So we cook the wheat and then we achieve a sweet porridge, which we're going to later pump into the fermenters, add some yeast so that it can eat on those uh, sugars to achieve the initial alcohol that we actually need, which will be at around 10%. Then from there, we move on to the next stage, which marks the first stage of distillation, which we call the stripping run, where we get to separate alcohol from the rest of the mixture, that is the water and the cooked wheat. Okay, so we get um, an average of uh, say 35% afterwards. Then we go to the next stage of distillation, which we call a spirit run. Now we are in pursuit of the neutral spirit. So at this point, that is the most crucial uh, stage of distillation because there are two key things that happen uh, at this juncture. There is uh, the further strengthening of that spirit and also the purification of the spirit. Because remember, it's meant for human consumption. So we need to get rid of all the impurities that are within that uh, spirit so that it's actually safe for human consumption. Eventually, when the process is done, it's going to give us um, an average of 96% alcohol which is the neutral spirit now so in the meantime where you can actually get us is on uh, Instagram that is where we are most uh, efficient in terms of social media marketing and then Facebook's still the same primal spirits distillery and there you have it primal spirits distillery letting us into how to make gin and also the amazing products and uh, some experiences that you can enjoy when you go and pay them a visit. We're still standing on business as we bring you another lifestyle biz. We headed out to Hotel and Hospitality Expo out in Santon and found out more about an African-inspired business called Vogari. We spoke to founder and creative director, Barry Litch to hear more about what they have to offer. Let's check them out. My name is, is Barry Leach. I'm called Mkomaz in Zululand, Mkomaz Utwala um, from Zululand and uh, now living in Cape Town, Vogari. It's interesting, it comes from Voga, Mrs. Zul, oh Voga, because we're trying to help pick up the stories before they get lost. We're trying to make the, 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 the wisdom around these creatures more accessible to young people because of their relevance to, to culture. So it's about uvusa is the one part. And Ari is actually the ancient word for an eagle in, in Northern European. So it was our way of trying to make this a global thing to be inclusive. And also in Isizulu, the eagle is a very important, like, powerful symbol. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to get the best things, you must be prepared to go far and wide looking for it. So that we combine those, Uvosa and Ukos. Um, well, generally speaking, it's inspired by what, what part an animal plays in Zulu culture. Let's say an elephant, for example, and the Zulu proverb, which means there's no person for whom their own responsibilities and their, and their own success 
cannot be best done by themselves. Don't try and depend on too many other people, do it for yourself, which is a wonderful piece of wisdom. So our elephant, for example, that's what it immortalizes. Just like the leopard, Ingu Ila Mabai, that's also got its own message. Well, the reason is very personal. It started from myself. I wanted to put my story down and I wanted to do it through pictures and everything I'd ever heard. And I felt I needed to give it back. And I needed Zulu to say, these stories are for everyone and I currently carry them. So that was a way of putting this message across as opposed to writing a book. I find writing books and everything quite boring. So this is a lively way of actually put, putting it across in a very passionate way and it involves a lot of people. People that like Chaka, he, he's grown up with me as a small boy and I'm teaching him as well. So it involves a lot of us and that's why it's a passion project. On, on Instagram, it's Vugari ZA and on Facebook, it's Vugari Art.